Hi, this is Brandon from Watches On You. Today we're back at Wixon Jewelers in Bloomington, Minnesota, taking a look at a very special watch. This is the Patek Philippe 5170 G Chronograph. Let's drop down to the inspection pad and take a closer look at this wonderful piece. So let's take a closer look at the Patek Philippe 5170 G. Now, before I start this video, I wanna say that this watch is no longer actually manufactured in this configuration with the white gold and black dial. The black dial is still available with the rose gold and then there's other configurations that they made. There's a platinum with blue dial, which actually looks very, very cool. Uh, but I just wanted to make that clear before we started the video. I honestly prefer this look to the newer models. Just, I love the black dial. It looks very, very classic and it looks sort of sporty. I know it's not, it's more of a dress watch, but I think this gives it more of a sort of vintage look to it and it makes it look a little bit more sporty as I said. So now I'll dive into the rest of the details of this fantastic piece. So obviously the case is completely made out of white gold and the finishing is absolutely superb. It is completely polished. There's no brushing at all on this watch but it still looks fantastic. I mean on Patek's dress watches their their polishing is absolutely superb and second to none and it's, I mean, it looks great. I love the Arabic numerals on the dial that are also polished and it looks, it looks fantastic. So now I'll dive right into the movement. And as you can see, the movement is finished absolutely beautifully. It has beautiful Cote de Genève and Perlage on the movement itself and it looks fantastic. One very impressive aspect about this movement is that its power reserve is in excess of 65 hours. And that is without the chronograph engaged, which obviously is kind of the standard state. I mean, a lot of people don't have the chronographs running all day, so that shouldn't cause an issue. But above 68 hours, that's well above my 48 hour limit. And I really, really think this, that is a great feature that they decided to include. I mean, this watch retails for around $80,000. So that's, I mean, you shouldn't expect any less than that for that price, but I'm still very happy that they did it. And one other thing I'll note, the chronograph runs at 28,800 uh, hertz so basically this um, this watch sorry beats not Hertz beats per minute so this watch beats eight times per second which is pretty standard for Swiss chronographs it's the same as a Valjoux 7750 so now I'll demonstrate the chronograph function and as you can see this on the dial there are sub registers for sub dial sorry for running seconds and also minutes on the chronograph so I'll start the chronograph and the pushers feel absolutely fantastic. You can see that white seconds hand just moves right around the dial and there's a very high contrast between the black dial and the white seconds hand. So I'll stop the chronograph just again by pushing the top pusher there and I'll reset and it just whips back right into position. It's not a flyback chronograph, but it is, I, I, I'm gonna say it's probably the best functioning just standard chronograph that I've ever seen. Everything is perfect, and you should, expe you should expect that from a piece from Patek Philippe. So now I'll move on to a wrist shot, and the standard Patek Philippe deployant clasp is very easy to put on and take off. So as you can see, the 40 millimeter size is not too big or too small, and it would look, I'd say this would look good on pretty much any size wrist. I know it's a chronograph, so it tends to look a little bit bigger than the actual size it is, just because the dial has more things going on it, but I think that this this would fit pretty good on anyone's wrist. Uh, just for reference, my wrist is about 6.5 inches in diameter. So now I'll take it off, and the alligator strap is very, very comfortable. Uh, I just wanted to note that. So if you like this video, please remember to subscribe and share. And also we'd like to give a special thanks up to Wixon Jewelers in Bloomington, Minnesota for letting us film this piece. And I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna learn more about it. Thank you.